What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Javante Tank Davis states that he still sides with Ryan Garcia, King Rob Ryan Garcia, and he still believes that Ryan Garcia did not cheat in the fight with Devin Haney. Although Ryan Garcia had 10,000 different rhymes and reasons as to why he tested positive for a banned substance, Ashtonine, and why, uh, you know, he came in um, 3.2 pounds overweight. Uh, uh, and so with that said, you know, Javante Tank Davis is now saying, right, he is willing to rematch Ryan Garcia and see him down the road. Now, when Ryan Garcia and Javante Tank Davis fought, they fought at a catchweight 136 and a rehydration clause of 10 pounds. Ryan Garcia was two years and two fights removed from fighting at 135. And even in the fight with Devin Haney claimed that he couldn't get below 143 in the last three years. Hence the reason why he came in 143.2. Uh, 3.2 pounds over the agreed upon contractual weight of 140 for a title. So Ryan Garcia still has never fought for a world title, nor has he won a world title. Now, Ryan Garcia tested positive for a banned substance, Ashtarine. And again, he blamed it on ashwagandha root. He said he only takes three natural supplements in his life, which is D3, Omega-3, and ashwagandha root. Ashwagandha put out a statement and stated that we don't have Ashtarine in our, our products, and you can check it. And then he backtracked off of the ashwagandha root. And then he said it was Vada. Then he said it was Wada. Then he said it was Bill Haney. Then he said it was Devin Haney. Then he said it was the New York Boston Athletic Commission. Then he stated that it was the doctor that prescribed him the supplements. Then he stated that it was the elites. Now he's stating that it was Super Carbs and it was the BCAs. The amino acids that he took. So it was you then. Nobody set you up. But then now the super carbs, neutral bio, and their CEO, Mark Glazier, came out and said the lot number that he sent us with the two unsealed open containers that the third party tested and claimed that it was negative. That lot number we tested and not near one bottle that we put on the shelf after testing that entire batch came back positive for Ashtarine. So we are going to aggressively pursue and defend ourselves against these comments and these ac accusations made by Ryan Garcia and his team. So that leaves only the BCAs. So how is Javante Tank Davis talking about Ryan Garcia still didn't cheat? And he still believes Ryan Garcia didn't cheat and that he still has plans to fight Ryan Garcia. So you have that much disdain for Devin Haney that you still don't want to believe the results. Although prior to your fight last year, April 20th, 22nd of 2023, you stated that you was pushing for Vada testing for your fight with Ryan Garcia because you believe he was juicing. And your coach Calvin, he stated that Ryan Garcia's body transformation is not normal. And you stated that why you put a re why you put a rehydration clause and make sure you have Vada testing is because Ryan Garcia is extremely big and you know he's juicing. Now he actually tested positive for juicing, and yet you want to give him the benefit of the doubt? Because you have that much disdain for Devin Haney is amazing. But at the same time, Tank Davis did say that he wanted to fight Shakur Stevenson and he wants to fight Vasil Lomachenko after his fight June 15th with Frank the Ghost Martin. Amazing, isn't it? It is. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit, hit, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hate, like, comment and subscribe you haven't if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notification follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all one word
So all I got for y'all, I'm going peace. <laughs>